Hello! How are you doing today? I'm glad you came to the forest. It just rained. And that makes everything greener and it makes the birds chirp. So you may hear some birds in the background today. My name is Emery the Forest Gnome. And I'm here to tell you a tale today. So one of the tales that I want to tell today is about the princess and the frog. And that is a Grimm's fairy tale. So my adaptation is a little different from the original, but we're going to have fun listening to it. Are you ready to listen? All right. So once upon a time in a kingdom far away, there was a beautiful princess. So beautiful, in fact, that everybody that saw her was like, oh, she is very, very pretty. And on this particular day, she had a golden ball. And she was throwing it up into the air and catching it and throwing it up in the air and catching it. And she went out to the dark woods, which is just through the dark forest, which is just a ways from the castle and was playing and throwing her ball, her golden ball up and catching it. Well, one time she threw it up way too high and missed it. And it went rolling into a spring. Well, she looked down into that spring and found out that it was deep. So deep she couldn't see the bottom or her ball anymore. Well, the king had given her that ball and she was sad because she could no longer play with it. And she's a crying and just sad and she sat on a rock and was just <laughs> and making all kinds of noise. Well, a frog came up and said, Hello? Little princess, what's wrong? And she said, well, I lost my, my favorite ball. I'll never see it again. And the frog said, well, where did it go? And she said, I went down into the bottom of the well. Well, I, I could go get it for you, but what do I get in return? And the princess said, oh, anything you want. And the frog said, anything I want? And she said, yes. And he, the frog said, well, I want to eat from your plate. I want to sit by your side and I want to sleep on your pillow. Well, the princess thought she had nothing to lose because, well, how is that frog going to get out of that spring? And she said, well, if you can get that ball for me, uh, that's fine. And the frog said, okay. And he jumped down into that, into that spring all the way down. And he was gone for a little bit and came back up and poop, out went the ball out of his mouth and said, here you go, princess. And the princess grabbed the ball and was like, thank you, and went running. And he's like, whoa, ribbit, wait for me. You made a promise, wait for me. But it was too late. The princess had already went down into the castle. So the next day, the princess was sitting there at lunchtime uh, with the king and some suitors and some more important people. And she heard a splish, splish, Sploosh, sploosh. And she went to the door and opened it up and the frog was there. And he said, you made promises. You must keep, you need to keep, you need to keep your promises. And she looked down at the frog and was like, oh no, and shut the door and went back to, back to, to, to lunch. And the king could tell that there was something wrong. And the king was a very wise king. And he looked down at his daughter and said, is there a giant at the door? What's going on? I can tell that you're upset. Well, the, the princess said, well, I, uh, I, I lost my ball yesterday and this frog got it for me, but I had made some promises to him about coming in and eating and, and sleeping and and being my companion and the king looked at her and said well hun you're you're going to have to fulfill your promises never look on down on anybody that helps you 
so you're going to have to keep your promises. So she went back to the door and opened it up and said, come in. And the frog followed behind her, still kind of wet, sat next to the table and said, princess, I am hungry. Can you help me up on the table? So she picked, she was very picky. She picked up the frog and sat the frog on the table. And he said, now scoot that plate towards me. And that frog ate a little bit. And he said, oh, I am full. It is time to go take a nap. So the princess said, okay. So they went up to the, went up to her room and she put the frog in the corner of her room. And the frog said, no, 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 no. I must sleep in your bed. Sleep on your pillow. And she said, okay. She was a little concerned because she didn't want her nice silken sheets all destroyed by a frog. So she put the frog on the pillow and went to bed that night. When she woke up the next morning, the frog was gone. And she said, well, I wonder where the frog went. And it, the frog wasn't seen all day. And she thought, oh, well, I've, I am completely done with this frog. I don't have to worry about this anymore. Around dinner time, splash, 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 splash. She comes to the door and the frog said, I'm back. And she said, okay. She lets the frog in lets the frog eat, and then it was time for bed. Her and the frog go to bed, puts the frog on the pillow again, and they both sleep. She wakes up in the morning, and the frog is gone again. And she said, phew, I hope he doesn't come back. On the third day, the same thing happened. And the frog ate lunch, at dinner with, with her. And then they went to bed. She put the frog on her pillow again. Went to sleep. But that morning, when she woke up, there was a beautiful prince, handsome prince, at the foot of her bed, saying, Princess, wake up. I am your true love. And she was startled because there was nobody in the room when she went to bed. And the prince told the story that when, his, when he was younger, his, his father was cursed by a mean witch, by a wicked witch, and had turned his son, the prince, into a frog. So he had been in that spring ever since until she brought him out. So the prince asked the princess to marry him and go back to his kingdom and be a king or a queen and king. She said yes. They went back to his kingdom and they lived happily ever after. Thank you for listening to my story today. I hope you have a beautiful day. It is beautiful here in the woods. It's a beautiful spring day. Thank you.